it's Olivia Leora. Today I'm going to show you how I accomplish my flat twist out. Stay tuned. For this process, I'll be using Melanin's Twist Elongating Style Cream, Myel's White Peony Leave-In Conditioner, a spray bottle of water, and Melanin's Multi-Use Pure Oil Blend. Now for my tools, I'll be using some satin scrunchies, a few duckbill clips, some bobby pins, a rat tail comb, and my favorite Felicia Leatherwood brush. I start this process by taking down my hair. Then I take my rat tail comb and make a middle part all the way to the back of my head. Now that I've made two sections, I'm going to separate that first section and secure it with a satin scrunchie. So now with this section, I'm going to start by dividing it in half. So on the second half of my head, my whole goal is to end up having four evenly divided rows going backwards. And so I start by just dividing that section in half, and then I will kind of move forward and then dividing those halves into quarters. You can see I'm just securing that first half out of the way, and then I'm now dividing that second half into quarters or to fourths. Sorry if I'm using entirely too much math here. I have the half. <laughs> and now I'm just going in with my uh, rat tail clone. Just to make sure that part is a little more precise, I wanna make sure that I have as even sized parts as possible. Now that that section is divided, I'm going to twist it up and secure it out of the way. And here is the first section that I will be flat twisting. So to set my flat twist, I'm going to start by spraying a few squirts of water and then smoothing that through. I want to make sure that I'm keeping my hair as stretched as possible. Then I follow up with my spray leave-in, giving about three or four squirts of that. So I'm trying to keep my hair as stretched as possible just because as much as I need to set the style with these products, I don't want my hair to revert and start to shrink up. Um, and so by keeping this tension allows me to keep that length. And now I'm following up with my Melanin uh, Twist Elongating Style Cream, which is really helpful in keeping your hair stretched. Um, and I'm just making sure that my um, parts and all the areas of my hair are coated in that cream. Just adding a little bit more to my ends just because we all saw what they look like and they need the help. And then I just follow up with the Melanin's um, Pure Oil Blend just to seal it off. Now I use my Felicia Leatherwood Detangling Brush to brush through that section, starting from ends and moving my way up to the root. And I'm just wanting to make sure that that product is getting through that hair and then also making sure there's no tangles to prepare to do my flat twist. So now I'm ready to start my flat twist. I start by sectioning off the front part of my hair and then I divide that little section into two. Now I'm gonna begin twisting. So I'm going to twist these two sections over each other. Then I'm going to continue to twist back. So I'm going to use my index finger to get my next section. And then I use just my other hand to help separate the rest of my hair. And then I add that section of hair to the twist. And then we'll repeat the process. I know it's a little difficult to see, but I will also include in the description below a link to Glam Fam, who is a certified cosmetologist, where he shows how to do a flat twist and you have a way better visual. But I'm just continuing to part a section and add it to that twist. I'm not going to lie to you, it took me some time to teach myself how to flat twist. And a lot of what I do is by feel. Uh, so it's actually incredibly difficult for me to explain verbally because um, this is the part where my hands do the work. Okay, and so I'm just continuing to flat twist all the way back.
Okay, so once I get to the end of that section and there's no more hair to be added, I get a little bit more of that twist elongating cream and I smooth it over that remaining hair. This does two things. So it helps me one, get a little bit more grip on my hair, but it also helps to smooth the hair so that I'm not needing to brush through. Um, so I found in order to get a non frizzy um, flat twist out, it's to not brush through these ends. It's just to keep twisting down and add a little bit more product if you need to help you kind of smooth it or to get a better grip, but do not brush through those ends. That way when you untwist it, um, the sections that you've kind of uh, parted into the twist come out more neatly and they're not kind of interwoven because you brushed through them. Once I get towards the end and I feel I can't twist anymore, kind of twirl it around my finger to kind of seal it. And I hold onto the twist because I don't want it to kind of unravel itself. I might twist it back a couple of times and then I'm going to secure that twist with a bobby pin or actually with two bobby pins. Now what I find is this also helps to keep the flat twist stretched out because if I were to let go, then um, it just will get a little poofier and I want to maintain that length. So now I'm just moving on and repeating the same process on the next section. So I brush through just to kind of detangle. Then I spray my few spritz of water. Then I follow up with my leave-in conditioner. And you can tell I'm adding a little bit more product in this section than I did in the previous one. And that's mostly because there's more hair in this section. Uh, even though they're parted kind of evenly going backwards, there's just, uh, I have more head. <laughs> and then I'm following up with my twist elongating style cream. And then sealing it with oil. I give another brush through. And then I'm ready to flat twist. Again, I start by sectioning off a front piece and then dividing that into two. I twist those sections over each other and then I pick up my next section to add to it. Then I just continue to part sections and add it to the twist until I get to the end of that section. Once I get to the end of that twist, I add some more of my style cream just to smooth it out. Then I continue to two strand twist down the rest of that section. Then I secure with two bobby pins. And this is what my hair looks like after I finish the first half. You can see I have four rows going straight backwards and then I'll be doing the next half. And for the sake of time, here we go. Here's what it looks like when I have all eight rows done. And now I'm just wrapping my hair with my satin scarf and getting ready to go to bed. 
So this is actually two days later. I didn't have anywhere to go the next day. So yeah. <laughs> so my hair is a little more shrunken in than it might be uh, if I would have taken this out next day, but it's fine. She's gonna still look cute. Uh, so I use that melanin pure oil on my hand just to kind of start, um, one, helping to stretch out my hair, but I wanted to have some oil on my hands while I'm doing that and then also removing those bobby pins. Having the oil on my hands also helps to kind of limit the amount of frizz that I'm gonna have as I start to take down these twists. So all I'm doing is kind of twisting and giving them a tug in my head. This helps to stretch them out again. Um, it might absolutely do nothing. So now I'm gonna begin untwisting my flat twist. So starting from the end and working my way up. Once I get to those kind of sections, I use my hand to uh, retwist each coil. This is kind of to help if there is any frizz to kind of um, retwist it into the twist. Okay, and now we have our first section untwisted. Then I just continue and repeat the process to the rest of my seven twists. So now that I have everything untwisted, it's just a matter of me getting my twists to lay how I'd like them to, and then styling. So I start by kind of trying to fluff them out by uh, shaking them. And then I feel like it also helps my twists to naturally start to fall somewhere. Um, and so they started to naturally fall into a, a side part. And so I was like, I'm not gonna fight you sis, let's just go with it. Uh, and so I just parted her down uh, the side. Now I go and kind of just lay all of my parts down. So I go section by section and just make sure everything is laying flat, uh, just to make sure that there's kind of even length going around there. And then I do repeat the same thing on the other side, going row to row, making sure that all of those twists are laying flat and not entangled with each other. And then that's it. So my hair's still not as big and voluminous as I'd love it to be, but this is day one hair. And that's typically what comes with day one hair. And here are a few shots of the final look. Okay, so this is my final look. So today I'm rocking with a, a side part, but the reason why I like to part my hair um, in eight rows going back is because I like that there are these kind of good like divides where I can part my hair. So if I wanna do a side part, if I want to, you know, I don't wanna mess up my hair, but if I wanted to do like a middle part, that works too. Um, if I wanna do any types of styles, it's kind of like there's already embedded parts that are there. So I don't have to mess up the uh, twist out curls too much. Um, because I don't want them to get too frizzy um, and yeah um, and I love this as for one day hair or first day hair um, it looks really great I feel like this is kind of when I would do um, flat twist on like more wet hair and I would use 
really just leave-in conditioners, things that aren't really kind of going to help me retain length. I just would find that even though I did have some little length on my hair, it just my twist outs looked so much smaller and shrunken in. And even though this one does definitely uh, is shrunken in because it's just the first day, as I continue to do twist outs for the rest of the week, um, the volume will increase. Um, and I really love that about that. I also love that specifically using the melanin um, elongating, let me get the name right, Melanin twist elongating blah, 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 blah. twist elongating style cream. Um, I feel like this is my favorite go-to, mostly because not only does it um, kind of reduce the likelihood that your hair is going to shrink from you know like the wetness or moisture in the product um, but also as I'm going through the days um, it doesn't flake on me um, I don't feel like I have a lot of product buildup and so that's why this is my go-to and I feel like they're well I feel like you can read on the ingredients that they have really uh fantastic ingredients um if you guys have followed Whitney White um with Dear Natural 85 I'm a huge fan um you know she really focuses on using like natural products in her hair regimens and so um, I really love this because I do feel like my hair feels moisturized and taken care of um, with other products that I use even though they might be favorites the main issue that I've had with them is the flaking especially as the weeks go on and I'm kind of like refreshing the twist out um, so I cannot like recommend melanin more than I already have because I honestly feel like this has been a huge game changer um, and this is not sponsored I spent my own money buying this from Ulta um, but I just it really has been a game changer in terms of me having quality twist outs that have like movement to them and well, okay this didn't that didn't look very movement-y but like she be moving when the wind comes she be out here uh, <laughs> so yeah again I really cannot rant about this product enough um, so as I kind of go throughout the day uh, I do find that my hair gets a little more volume um, the twist will kind of frizz plump up a little bit which I personally like and that's a lot of mostly due to the humidity that's in the air that kind of gets my hair to frizz up but like I personally like the volume um, it's only bad if I'm near the beach that's too much humidity <laughs> um, but yeah I just I personally this is the happiest I have been on my natural hair journey with like what my hair looks like the kind of flexibility I have to style it in different unique ways I feel like I get lots and lots of compliments from people not just other black women or black people like I feel like I get people from all over the world well I don't know if they're all from the world but from all different backgrounds who are like oh my gosh your hair is wonderful how did you do that and I'm like now I can be like go to my youtube channel you can see it um <laughs> but yeah it's just been um it's been a great journey to be able to find so many different products that really do um, prioritize the health of my hair. And so, yeah, I hope that you guys like this. Um, and with this, like I said, you can always style it however you want. My go-to is, if I'm really honest, I'm likely to do a side part, sometimes down the middle, I don't want to mess up my hair because I actually have somewhere to go <laughs> or I would show you the middle but I, I will put out another video where I kind of where you will see um what a more elegant version of it or actually I might have a snippet of some like old footage maybe I'll put it here so you can kind of like see what it looks like ish <laughs> um when I part it down the middle but yeah for the most part I'm kind of simple I don't do too many different styles uh for the most part I'm gonna have this part in the middle I might do a faux bang I will show you a video on how I do my faux bang but yeah I'm pretty much I'm rocking my hair in the same like four styles maybe five uh if I'm getting fancy and <laughs> but yeah I really hope that you enjoy this to kind of maintain this um now I might be able to get away with like one night with me sleeping on it with like my bonnet or if I like loosely tie my satin scarf around it um but by the second day it's oof, it's gonna be rough uh I mean I'll the next day from that waking up that one time it will be fine but if I try to sleep on it the second night it's gonna be rough so I always have to end up retwisting it um that could take me about 45 minutes to an hour but to me I personally think it's worth it I find it really meditative I watch my favorite YouTube channels and then you know do my hair it's I don't know I love it it's like my own personal beauty shop um but it's just me and my phone um anyway that sounded way sadder than I thought it would <laughs> but I digress um and so yeah it, it takes me about 45 minutes and um 
and then my hair is you know popping the next day and I think the also great thing about that process is I'm um, I'm adding um, hydration so I'm leaving using like a leave-in conditioner or some water and then putting on where did I put it I don't know what I do oh here it is <laughs> so I'm using like a leave-in conditioner or water and then kind of layering it with the, the melanin hair care um, twisting elongating style cream um, to kind of like add uh, some moisture and rehydrate those curls and then yeah like I said just kind of keep it moisturized um, throughout the week and I can get my hair to last about two weeks with doing you know twist outs I'm sorry rehydrating and re-twisting um, re my twist outs. Um, so yeah, I can get my hair to last at least two weeks. I could probably get it to last longer. I just start to get grossed out that I haven't washed my hair in two weeks. So usually by the two week mark, it's like, all right, we gotta wash you sis. Um, but what I really love and this is not sponsored. Uh, I paid my own money for this, but one thing I love about Melanin Hair Care's products is that there's like no flaking. So throughout the week, I can keep adding this and I'm not feeling a whole bunch of product buildup. I'm not getting a lot of flaking of product and all that stuff. Um, while there are a lot of other brands that I love and I still use, um, that's kind of the downside is that I can't really use them to um, retwist my hair because I'm gonna be flake central and I'm very tall and I'm also a teacher and you know who will roast you the quickest kids so the last thing I need is like my kids talking about how I'm making it snow because I got flake I don't need it I don't need it okay so good looking out for melanin because I don't have to worry about getting roasted and yeah <laughs> so um, so hopefully that is helpful and hopefully I can make maybe make a video that kind of shows you um, my process of how I retwist my hair. Um, again, I've really found that that has been, you know, the, a really huge game changer in me being able to maintain styles. Um, but yeah, so I hope that you enjoyed it. Hopefully I can be able to get some pictures and stuff of other ways that I kind of style my hair um, just so that you can see and maybe also follow up with some videos to kind of show you how I do those styles. They tend to be really quick and easy um, style because I'm on the go. Um, but yeah, hopefully they can be helpful. If you do have any questions, please let me know. Always leave um, comments below or if you're on my website, feel free to send me an email or anything like that. If you have suggestions of products or tools that I should try, that would be fantastic. If you do go to my website, I have a list of all of the products and tools and all these things that I love my favorites kind of like Oprah's favorites except I'm not as cool as Oprah um if you go to my website though you can go and find the links to basically all of these different products um I will let you know there are some affiliate links that's no cost to you but it does help me and my channel and allow me to be able to continue making content for you so if you could help a sister out I would appreciate you but if not just in in your mind send me millions of dollars like you ain't gotta buy anything just be like "Ooh, I hope Liv gets trillions and trillions of dollars forever amen and then that'll be good I'll take that payment as well okay um, so yeah thank you again I will see you in the next video take care bye okay so I just wanted to show you guys my hair so this is um, this is still the same twist out that I showed you in the last footage, but this is after I had retwisted it. Um, so and don't judge it because I've been out and about. I went to go see my my bestie and my godchildren today. Uh, so my hair has been like out and tossed in the wind and all of the elements and I mean well there really wasn't weather but you know in the just in the regular air humidity this will naturally like puff up but I love it like if I'm really honest like this is kind of like my optimal look like I like giving like Tracy Ellis Ross like before C uh, <laughs> I don't know hopefully I'm actually giving that because it's a goal <laughs> um, or I just like you know I'm gonna be dragged for that but anyway like I really liked the tall soles like not really super defined like I don't want it to necessarily look like it's a twist out I kind of like that it looks like oh maybe her hair is maybe she's born with it you know I mean I am born with it but like maybe this is just how my natural hair grows out of my head um and so yeah